I can't believe that I made it. The reason why I did not even start the vlog from right from my house because it has been a very hectic day and I can't believe that it's about time for me to fly again after two months you now I've been in Ghana for the past two months a lot was going on and I had to stay in-house just to make sure I solve everything but like I said it's Africa to the world celebrating every African and also showing you the Africa that you don't see on TV I cannot give up just because of what I am going through I have to continue the course and that's why I keep on telling you guys pray for me I'm, I'm just closing my eyes pray for me you might not know what I'm going through right now but I'm telling you just pray for me it's about time to go to our country number 29 in Africa. I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this particular visa for the past three months. Can you believe it? And after three months, guess what? They gave me just 10 days. And I was supposed to fly two days ago. So today is, um, I mean, uh, on the 4th of August. And on the 4th of August, which means four days of my visa is already gone so i have only six days in angola i hope when i get to angola i can still extend it the reason why they gave me that short time visa is because they say i'm a journalist i'm not a journalist i'm just a young man on a journey to celebrate every single african also show you the africa you don't see on tv angola i'm coming even though angola or luanda is um one of world most expensive cities and I can see that right now because let me tell you something. I'm just gonna do the cost of flying from Ghana to Luanda. My visa was seventy dollars, so I paid for my two two teams, so one guy, so which is hundred and forty dollars. The ticket that I bought was seven hundred dollars. Anytime I tell people that it's extremely stressful to travel in Africa, they don't believe me. And I just want to show you some of the stressful situations that Africans face traveling within Africa. Number one, applying for a visa is stressful. And applying for a visa to travel to another African country, you still need to pay for it. And it's between amount which is $70, let's go for $50, to $250 because I have paid $250 to apply for a visa to an African country. And I think the visa is extremely expensive. It's, it's extremely expensive. Um, one person um, acquiring visa fee just to visit Congo is um, 250 USD. It's so expensive and this is going to be the most expensive visa we have ever acquired. And apart from that, a ticket alone is extremely expensive. There's no cheap ticket trying to travel within Africa. This is us traveling from Accra to Luanda. That is the capital of um, Angola. And I know Angola is one of the expensive cities in the world. So this speaks volume. So you see, if we fly on um, Friday, 4th August, the amount is 7,920 Ghana City, which is approximately $700 and above. So the same thing if you want to go on Monday. Okay, let's assume because I don't travel alone. I travel with my two team. Yeah, I have two guys who to, uh, shoot my videos. So multiply this by three. And look at the amount that I'm going to pay. And some of you will be like, when are you coming to my country? When are you coming? You don't know. We will come. Like I said, we've already decided to put Africa on the map. And nothing is going to change the minds of us. But it's, 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 it's extremely expensive doing what we do. I mean, the most expensive one was around $900 if I wanted to use Ethiopian Airlines. But I decided to use Askai. I mean, I would love to talk about what Askai did to me. Um, which I believe it's unfair, but you know what? There's nothing that is gonna stop me from doing what I do. So I got a call from the Angola Embassy, and they told me that Askai is um, having their first inaugural flight to Ang uh, Angola, Luanda, and they would love me to be on board. And for people to know that there's a, there's a route, you know, from Lome to Luanda. I went to meet the Askai team, we discussed everything. I did not even charge them. All I wanted, give me a flight to Angola. Let me just let people know that there is a route like this. They told me, we are excited to have you on board, 
wait for us. The Accra team was super excited. They gave me like three days, yeah. I mean, they told me that the, the, the flight will be on the on the second of August. So I did everything that I have to do to fly on that particular day. To my disappointment, I woke up one day and they said the head office did not approve your request. But you know, that doesn't make me hold any grudge against the airline. The following day, I decided to book my own ticket, but I'm still gonna promote you guys to let you know that we are not doing this because of money, but we are doing this for Africans to patronize African airlines. Whether you support us or not, we will support you. And it's about time Africans start supporting each other. You know what? Come along with me. I don't wanna talk too much. I love this logo, by the way. We are Ghana, which is incredible. So every Ghanaian watching this video, feel free and leave a comment. I love you guys, man. I mean, but can I know in the comment section, what do you know about Angola? What are you expecting? What do you want to see? Excited to be going to Angola. And it's too expensive to go to Angola. <laughs> Very expensive. Ah. He's showing a photo of me inside Low Moon. And he wants to go there with the wife. Oh, that's, that, that shows that I'm following you every time. Huh? Wow. And you're based in Angola? No, well, I'm from Ghana. Uh -huh. I work in Angola, so. I heard it's the most expensive place, man. Right? Angola is expensive. Hey, me that I don't have money, how am I gonna survive? No, definitely survive, find a way. Nice. It's expensive, but uh, you, you'll enjoy Luanda. Really? Yeah. I can't wait, man. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Do you, let, me, let, me, let me say hello to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice to see you. Yeah. This, this man gave me a new name that I'm not even yeah, aware you're of. Yeah, ambassador of tourism. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Thank Thanks, you. Sir. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate you. You're all over the place. Everybody Thank is. You. We're trying our best. It's okay with what yeah. you do. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks Thank a lot. Eh? Thank you. Yeah. That's really amazing. Oh, this is your camera. This yeah. is the actual camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The captain said yes. The captain said yes to what? For you to, ha for me to have you with me in business, please. So you, you upgraded my flight. Wow, the seat is upgraded, eh? That's, That's not up to you. <laughs> Thanks to the captain. Thanks to the captain. This is the second time a captain has upgraded my seat on Asuka Airline. That's, that's, that's amazing, man. So literally, I'm stuck in here. I came with an economy seat and the air hostess was like, you know what, you're not going to Wadamaya, you have to step aside. And the captain is like, Wadamaya, we have to upgrade the seats to business class. Now, all the, all, all, all the stuff that I had in my heart has been forgiven. I forgive you, Asuka. This is, this is crazy. Business class confirmed. Seat changed. Thank you. She's amazing, you know. She made it possible.
special, you know. You're special, actually. <laughs> You're special to us, guy. Oh, wow. Our Thank passengers you. are special to us. Appreciate. And uh, where are you from? Me, I'm from Togo. You're from Togo? Uh, it's a Pan African airline. We have different nationalities. Mm. Yeah. What should someone expect anytime they take us? Uh, great service, great customer care, special. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See you next. Thank you. That was really amazing. It's alright, I'm gonna help you. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely the most loved content creator in Africa. I love how Africans really appreciate the work that I do. That's what I keep on telling you guys. No matter what happened, I will never give up on this movement. I mean, I just entered a flight despite what happened earlier. As soon as I entered, the air hostess was like, what am I? Stand aside. I stood aside. Went to the captain, told the captain I would have on board. The captain just said, give him a business class. And they just upgraded my seat and they were literally so nice to me. I mean, I love the fact that Aska is a Pan-African airline. Pan-African airline, which is also powered by Ethiopian Airlines. So basically, this is Ethiopian airline, sub subsidiary. Yeah, so it's Ethiopian airline that um, owns the airlines and Aska operates it. So this is how it works if you don't know now you know but it was a bumpy flight the shortest flight ever 25 minute takeoff from Accra and we landed in here I actually just closed my eyes I opened and we're in Lome Hi Oh wow you can take a picture, eh? You, you can go like that. <laughs> I can I can follow you every time that I take a picture. It's not like a librarian. <laughs> I'm a librarian. You see? You got it right, man. 100%. 100%. Thanks, man. Thanks nice to meet you, man. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate you, man. I'm Dave. Thank you. <laughs> how you. How you know my accent? Have you been uh, to Liberia? Of course. I've been to Liberia. So as soon as I, you spoke, I'm like, yeah, librarian. Hey. <laughs> 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 You know, it, it's, it's so nice that I've traveled to so many African countries that as soon as you speak to me from your accent, I know the country you're from. Hands down. But I love how busy the Lome airport is. It's so busy, man. Like, I love it, man. That's so cool. Like, everyone is eating. I don't have money to buy food at the airport, man. So. Did you hear that? We are at the Lome Airport, and I'm super hungry, man. So, I mean, we have like almost two hours to wait before our next flight. And if I wait, I'm definitely gonna die because I've not had breakfast. I only have lemon water. With you, me, you guys know that I'm trying to stay healthy, but I'm like, I can't take it. I just have to eat something. So, yeah. Um, total cost was 28,000 francs. Yep. Bon appetit to me, not you. Huh. <laughs> what did I order, bro? Cheese. Checking down, last person to board, and uh, I'm excited once again. Can't wait to touch down in Rwanda. So yeah, let's go. Wow, after three hours, we finally landed in Rwanda. It's pretty late. But yeah, I'm excited to see what the city got to offer, man. Woo! Hi. Tu parles, tu, tu parles français, anglais, uh, portugais? Oh, no, je ne parle pas portugais. Wow. Parle, it's like, it's like espagnol. espagnol. Yeah. Petit, petit. Petit, petit, espagnol. Yeah. Uh, no portugais. No. Français? Yes. Français? Very well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting to understand that all of us in the plane are Africans, but we speak different African, I mean, we speak different foreign languages. But I, God bless you. Thank you. Woo! Whoa! 
This is not a West African air, bro. This is not a West African. Woo! Damn, it's so cold. She wow, the breeze feels so good. I think we are close to the sea or something. Wow. But one thing that I think I will recommend to ask I for the trip to Luanda make sure you get somebody on board who speaks Portuguese man because there was a woman sitting next to us that was really struggling I love this man wow look at that yo I, I'm excited man look at look Angolan Airlines wow I'm excited I said Angolan Airlines can you guys see it Ooh. Waiting for the day that we're gonna have Ghana Airways, man. Look at you! Finally! Yes, Who's speaking me out? <laughs> Good to see you! Wow! Look at you! Oh! This is my Hi. husband. Um, hola! Welcome to Angola. Thank you. I wish I knew how to say. Obrigado. 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 Wow. Yes, obrigado. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How about you? Good to see you. Wow. You watch my videos? A couple. A couple. <laughs> That's nice, man. Good to see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you from here? Yeah, from Zimbabwe. Oh. I saw your Zimbabwe videos. Nice to see like you, brother. Me. Thanks a lot. Man. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I mean, first impression. The lightning looks so amazing. And it's it, it's cool to be here, man. Woo. So many lights in, yeah? If, wow. Angola, baby. The city of light. <laughs> first impression, eh? Wow. Okay. Man, it looks so good. Look at my long lost friend, man. Oh, that's my car. I'm seeing my car in Angola, man. Your car is in Ghana. Yeah. Like you're not coming back to Ghana because you look so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were more excited in Ghana. In Ghana? Yeah. No, no. Ghana is my country. Of course, I'm gonna come back. I bring my husband to Ghana to ah. eat to eat wache. What? <laughs> you must try wache. Must... Oh, he has tried fufu before. Oh, really? You can ask him. Yeah. Wow. Fufu, fufu with pepper. <laughs> no, without pepper. without pepper. Without pepper. Nah. I'm really happy to have you here in Angola. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really Thank excited you. to see you once again here in my beautiful country. You're welcome. Thank I you. Medase, obrigado. You know. Oh and I can't. I can't wait to put Angola on the map. I can't wait to start making all those videos. You know, I know it's gonna take me a hard time, but I'm gonna try all I can to put Angola on the map. For sure. So I greet them by saying Bon dia from Angola um, A very beautiful city Even though I've not started working um, You know what Things has been so complicated Since I came in here um, They gave me only 10 days for me to enter this country And as it stands right now 5 days are gone My visa expires in the next five days so before i start working i need to go get a permit and i arrived in the country on friday night today is monday morning so i have to spend money in terms of um booking an accommodation which we are paying 40 dollars a night three days 120 dollars gone just like that i have uh, a driver in here he's been amazing for the past three days He's been showing me around even though I can't film until I get the permit to fly my drone and all of that. So three days of having the driver, every day he charges me $50. $50, 50, 50, 150, it's all gone. So I'm just hoping that this whole permit will be faster and I hope they extend my stay for at least five more days because I think five days in Angola is not enough. So this is how it is i'm on my way right now to the office of the ciam that's what they say that's why i can get my permits those are the same people who granted my visa for me to enter the country and they said 10 days is enough for me so yeah this is the update 
let's just go see what happens and if something happens i'll come back in here and let you guys know but so far so good i'm having a great time in angola this is not a city that i expected i'm so sorry forgive me the more i travel in africa the more i see the beauty that is hidden from me and you and we are here as a crew to expose this beauty to the world The streets of Luanda. You better don't vlog. You're scared. We are going to them. You better don't vlog here. So we are now we are now going to get our permit. So let's just go get our permits, man. <laughs> Before I, she's even scared because I don't have my permit yet. So she she thinks I shouldn't vlog, right? I know my people. Eh. Yeah. I know my people. You know your people. Don't worry. Finally, we are done. <laughs> After how many hours? Yeah, almost five, yeah. Three to five. Five hours for waiting for the permit. Yeah. The whole day is literally gone. Gone, all day. And I have to extend my visa for five more days since I've spent five days already in the country without doing anything, just waiting for the permit. So, are we going to the airport? Yes. We need to add more. <laughs> Five days. Yeah. But, but, but why not give me more days so that I don't go through all this stress? Anyway, if you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. I'm just going to get my visa and I'm going to continue my day. Like I've told you, these are the challenges that we go through, but we won't let these challenges keep us from keeping Africa on the map. evening it's um, 10 25 p.m. right now I don't know if you guys can see it we just came back from visiting Kalandula waterfalls I mean we step out around 5 a.m. and it's 10 25 that's when we came back and the amount that it cost us is around um, um, the, the driver charges 120,000 Kwanzaa so Steven is right in the mall taking the money so that we'll be able to pay the driver that took us to uh, the Kalandula Falls. So yeah, this is the, it's a Prado. Yeah, so that's the car we used. And my brother, take it down, just the mirror. I know you're tired. Very tired. <laughs> you left home? At five. At five. five. 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's 10 o'clock and you're still not home. No. I'm so sorry, bro. No. This is a struggle we we'll go through putting Africa on the map. I know you watch my videos, right? Yeah, definitely. For it, three years. For three years? For three years, yes. <laughs> now, now, now you see what we go through behind the scene. Yeah, of that I'm that 20 minutes video. Uh -huh. Thank I'm you for... I'm experiencing my own skin. <laughs> We'll continue tomorrow. We are not done. Sure. We're not done. We're just so starting, man. The name, the name is Neil. Neil. Yeah, Neil Pacheco. Yeah, man. Well, you no. see, you see him more <laughs> on the videos. So yeah, uh, Steven, you done? Okay, Steven is here. You tired, eh? You got a cash? Yeah. Okay, so let's go home, man. Are I'm you not tired? tired? You're sleeping. I'm not tired. <laughs> 